Uh, we're going to patch bud this tree and this is a limb I just cut off the tree yesterday and um, this all grew last year and these are buds of course are all pushed out but back in here is some little dormant buds and again we have a, a um, primary bud and a secondary bud with patch budding you want you have to have real smooth round wood you can't have uh, rough angular wood because when you slip this patch out you've got to have the heart of the buds still in the patch if you don't have don't do it right or don't have the right piece of wood you'll get the patch out <clears throat> and the, the heart of the bud won't be there and the bud won't grow the patch may grow but not the bud so this is just another piece uh, of the same thing now there is another way of doing that of getting bud you can uh, collect this wood that's ideal in the winter time and put it in your uh, refrigerator store it and then in the spring um, that's a little difficult to figure out but bring it out and keep it in a moist halfway warm place not a hot place and uh, the buds will finally start to loosen up and the, the piece will still be dormant but the buds will slip so but that's a little tricky so if you can go right out to the orchard and cut the buds um, that I think is better maybe here to begin with I'll see if I can get one out and, sh and show you up close what the buds the patch is supposed to look like so anyhow we have the, the double bladed knife so then um, and we made the two horizontal cuts there and then we make a couple of cuts over here to get the width of this patch and uh, so I pull out a little piece there because you don't want to pull this patch off because then you won't get the heart with it you need to slide it so it shears the heart um, well it there we go so now okay um, I don't know if you can see from that distance, but we have the heart still in the bud there. And that's a good thing. <laughs> very, very important. Well, then we uh, need to make a, a cut in the tree with this same knife. and uh, get this bud out this patch and and so we can loosen up the corners a little bit so they'll slide so it'll slide easier uh, but you don't want to pull it straight up. So here we go with the with the shearing action, and that one looks very good as well. The opening on the rootstock and the bud you have just cut will match on the top and the bottom because of the double blade knife cut. It is not important that the sides touch. It actually helps tighten the bud down, not having the sides touch. After placing the bud in the opening, use a rubber to wrap and hold the bud in. This can also be done with the green nursery tape. And we tie that in the same as we did the, the green tape. When you make these cuts that we can tree a bit and sometimes they'll break over. So I like to to tie that with so that the wind doesn't break the tree off. Uh, that doesn't happen too often, but it can happen. So um, and and um, and I like to <clears throat> leave the top of the tree on there when I bud for uh, oh, a week or ten days, so that things are all happening here, everything going normal. Uh, I have seen people bud and then cut them, cut them off right away but that kind of interrupts the, 
healing and the growth and all that kind of stuff. So I, I believe that you should leave the top on there for a week or 10 days. And then, then you cut it off about there and put some sealer on top. And, um, and I suppose it should be painted white too uh, pretty quickly. So, and uh, so hopefully <clears throat> in, a, in a week or two, the bud will start to grow. And uh, so then you keep the rootstock sprouts off as we did on the whip grafts and we tie the grafts up the, up the stake. The, um, there, is another, there is another time of year <clears throat> when there's a lot of budding goes on in walnut trees, patch budding, and that's in the fall. In, uh, in the Sacramento San Joaquin Valley, they do that generally around the last week of August and first week of September. And they put in buds, taking the buds off of the off the growing trees right then um, they're actually would be using this same this same uh, part of the tree and they uh, they cut the uh, the leaves off and just leave a little stub there and and put a patch bud in and put it into the the new growth not the, the old growth but the growth the, the current season growth and those generally stay dormant until next spring. So that's an entirely different uh, uh, kind of a process. <clears throat>